Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's tutorial is this one. It's a card um, that's got little handbags on it and I just think they're rather lovely. Now, I shared this and showed how to make it at our team re um, retreat the weekend before last, so the weekend of the 4th and 5th, and I decided I would share it with you. So everybody was given a pack of mango, or a sheet of mango melody, and then options should they really not like the colour. I have to say I don't love the colour, so I made myself use the colour. Um, and then each table had a whole bunch of the beautiful designer series paper. And the name's just fallen out of my head. The suite is called Petal Park. I want to say it's called Regency Park. It is called Regency Park because I've got the name on the back. Um, so everybody had every single design and I want to show how to make it. Now, my reasoning for showing um, a card without a sentiment on it is that sometimes we just need to have a card that you can put in the post to somebody to say, here, I'm thinking of you or just because. Or if it is a day such as today, the 13th of March, it might be your birthday because it's my birthday today. Obviously, I'm filming this ahead of time, um, but you might want to put it in the post to somebody to wish them a happy birthday. But I'm going to show you how to make it because it is super, super simple. So I'm just cutting my piece of cardstock in half and then I'm going to score it in half. Don't, I'm not going to give you measurements because you could make a square version of this, you could make a taller version, a fatter version, a shorter version, a bigger version. You just need to have a piece of cardstock cut in half and scored in half. Then when you fold it to that, you'll know what your measurements are. So you need a piece of basic white that will sit over the top of it and give you a border. So perhaps you might want to cut yours down to half an inch shorter and narrower than that piece or maybe if you work in imperial a quarter of an inch even an eighth of an inch and that will give you a perfect border if I put it on this white you'll get the same border all the way around okay then I'm going to take these panels now these panels <laughs> for our team event I helpfully wrote down that they were two by three inches they're not at all um, they are one and a quarter by two and a quarter inches so that's your colored bit so therefore it's one by two on the uh the patterned panel so i'm just going to pop those out of the way um oh there we go so i'm going to go two and a quarter inches or shall i make it let me do it in centimeters that might make sense for me so in centimeters it's three by five and a half so i'm going to cut five and a half and then I'm going to cut three of these. One, two, and three. Now, you could, if you wanted to, make your bag sizes less sort of tote shopper long. You can make them a little bit shorter. You could make them longer, you could make them wider, whatever you fancy. Okay, so this is my, I can't speak, this is my paper and I want to pull out some floral patterns that have got the dark uh, night of navy in, so I definitely want that one. Um, I'm not sure about that one, I do want that one. What's on the other side of that? Oh, that's the same, look, I'll just keep that one sheet. And then I want the nice dark blues, but I want two bold patterns and two softer patterns. I don't know that I want that one. What's on the other side of that? Let me flip over. Let's get that out of the way. Do I want that one? I don't know. I don't know. I think I might go that one. It's got that little bit of mango melody. So obviously my three panels, I want these just to be a tiny bit shorter. So what did I say those were? So I'm, because I'm working in centimetres, I'm just going to make mine half a centimetre shorter and narrower. So I want one like that and then I want one of the other way around. And these are nice because you could just quietly sit and make a whole bunch of them. Um, I want a bit more blue, a bit more of this sort of pattern. Yeah, you could just, I mean, it's very simple. It's not complicated in any way, shape or form. 
you're just cutting little strips but actually it's a really good way to use up strips or those tiny little fiddly bits i mean that's tiny little little diddy fiddly bits right so my piece of basic white and then the petal park bundle it's such fun it's got a floral punch that's going to make me happy any day of the week it's gonna make me really happy on my birthday oh okay so i'm gonna take the outline one the outline out a bit i don't know if that's the right way to word it and then the solid in a bit and some smoky slate i just pick up a couple of blocks and I'm just going to randomly stamp kind of there and there. Now I'm not worried about the fact that it's gone a little bit messy in the middle. I don't know if you're seeing that very well. It's gone a bit messy in the middle, but we're going to cover that up with our beautiful handbags. And then the solid ones down here. They do fit into this gap. I don't necessarily want them to fit into that gap. I want them to sort of sit over here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a messy thing going on there. Let's not worry about that. Okay. Oh, grab some seal. Try not to drop the seal. Okay, and then I'm going to assemble all of these. Just queried myself there for a second. All the bags together. And then I'm going to get some twine. You could have twine, you could have the, um, what's this called? Baker's twine. Then there's linen thread. There's all sorts going on. So I'm going to take some linen thread and it's very curly. So if you've got sharp nails, just run your run it you know your nail along whoops drop it into your lap run your, uh, your nail along it to stretch it out or maybe a bone folder or scissors or something like that and i'm just popping some glue on the top and i want a double length where do my scissors go they're under here somewhere just want to stretch that a little bit more fold it in half Oops. And then my husband's just shouting up the stairs and he doesn't realise I'm filming. I did say to him I was filming. So that's the back of one bag done. And then do a couple more. And you could have your bags with different lengths or approximately the same just I'm eyeballing I think the joy of crafting and creativity is that it's handmade it's not made in a factory it's not mass produced for everything to be identical each one is going to look a little bit different okay then I want some dimension oh what happened to my packet of dimensionals that's a bit chewed up oh they're all sticking to the backing probably have run over them with my office chair it happens so there we go two on the back of each so i'm looking for there's my planer one so that's covering up the bulk of that sort of messy area. And that's covering up a bit more of the messy area. And then a final bit down there. And then I'm going to get, if I can see them, here we go, my iridescent pearls. And I'm just going to pop three of them on 
like that. And then to finish, I'm going to find my basic white, which I've lost. It was right in front of me just now. Where did I put it? Under here. <laughs> and I'm going to get my same solid image, but I'm going to give it a quick clean. So I've got Stampin' Mist and a Stampin' Scrub over to one side. And on this one, you can see I stamped Mango Melody. I'm going to go with Night of Navy. And you just want to look which way it punches out. It's going to punch out kind of like that. Oh, apparently I need to re-ink my Knight of Navy. <laughs> punch three of those and then just give them a little bit of elevation. So just to make them move a little. And the third one, and then bring back in those iridescent pearls. And to finish off, mini glue dot on the back of each. Oh, they're all in the garage. Useful. <laughs> I have one there. Uh, oh, I can't pick up the mini glue dot. Have one up there. And I have squished those a little bit, but I will lift them back up again. One over there, so just elevate them up. And those are fun just because cards. So actually, to be fair, the team at the event, I think everybody did a mango melody version. Uh, I don't, I did go around the room, obviously, and chatted to everybody. I don't recall seeing anything a different colour, um, but it was really fun to see the different variations and people had done different things in the background. Um, but yeah, those are my um, just because handbag cards. I hope you like them. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Wednesday, I have got a big, long video. It's a long one, so you're going to grab coffee in advance, showing all of the incredible gifts and goodies that everybody gave me. And then on Friday, I have got the other project that I taught as well. Anyway, see you all soon. Bye.